Hello guys, welcome to the Sailor's Lounge. My name is God Street. And on today's topic here, or on today's episode, I want to talk about a very crucial part of the ship. Today I want to talk about fire and fighting fire and firefighting equipment on board. Yeah. But before I go ahead, I really love to appreciate all of you that have been engaging with my content, all of you that have been um, leaving your feedbacks, your recommendations. I really do appreciate you all. Thank you so much. And if you are yet to subscribe to this channel, please go ahead and do so. Just two steps. The first step is to click on the notification, uh, the subscription icon. And the second step is to click on the notification icon so you do not miss out on anything. So guys, let's go. Today I want to talk about fire and how we fight it and what equipment we have on board to fight fire. So stay tuned. Do not go anywhere. I am coming back. So welcome back, guys. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and talk about fire. I am in our firefighting control station on board my ship. Now you see, the IMO in the National Maritime Organization has made it compulsory that before anyone comes on board to work, regardless of your rank, you have to undergo a mandatory firefighting training. You must know how to fight fire. Why? Because you could be on the Atlantic Ocean, the Indian Ocean or the Pacific Ocean, far away from shore, and then there is a fire on board. What would you do? You have to fight it yourself and help wouldn't come as fast as you want so we have our own equipment put in place so we can fight fire now this is a fire fight firefighting control station just like you would have a firefighting station ashore the ship is fitted with fire heads fire detecting systems it helps us to locate where fire is coming from in any part of the ship and this is where we can control or we can start firefighting equipment remotely now in this fire control system uh, firefighting control station we have high expansion uh, fire extinguished system which is used to fight um, chemical or gaseous fire we also have dry powder which is more like multi-purpose we'll have the dry powder and then we'll have co2 now all of these systems these firefighting system can be deployed here but then they carry out their function in any parts where the fire is coming from so you see we, we fight fire remotely that is what goes on here now this place is the chief engineer is in charge of this place and before he goes ahead to operate any of this or deploy any of this uh, firefighting system the captain must give him a go ahead you see and everybody must have evacuated the area where the fire is coming from so it's either he's deploying the um, high expansion foam fire extinguisher or the dry powder or the co2 depends on the kind of fire that we are fighting furthermore the ship is also fitted with portable fire fighting extinguishers i will show you that later that is uh, in the accommodation area accommodation area is where we sleep you know so this ship is fitted all the decks we have one on the port side and one on the starboard side it is fitted with firefighting um extinguisher portable firefighting extinguisher so we could fight small fires now, once the fire gets above your knee level, you should run away. If it becomes as tall as you are, run away. Then we deploy the automatic firefighting system. The moment you come on board, you are assigned to a party. We have an attack party and then we have support party. Now, for if the fire is coming from the engine room, the engine guys are the first to combat the fire. They are the first attack party. Why? Because obviously they know the engine room better than we do better than the guy the deck guys that's why i said we and if it is if the fire is coming uh, from the deck the dead guys are always the first people to attack the fire and then we'll have support from uh, the engine rooms now from this panel that you are seeing here we are able to know exactly where fire is coming from we are able to shut valves open valves we have one other panel here the damper control panel we're able to short close start and turn off so this is the fire control station so this is our fireman suit you could see we have the max we have fire boats and then we have the ba sets the britain apparatus and this is extra um, cylinders oxygen bottles obvious of course we have um, stretcher and other emergency equipments 
So this is the board. This is the high expansion foam. And this is the dry powder. Dry powder. Uh, the CO2 can be activated from this place. Cheap gas supplied to ER and so activating this is really simple. You just follow the steps and that's it. And this is the damper control panel where you can shut valves, open valves, to, so you're able to control the flow of oxygen. You know, when it comes to fire, one of the first thing you need to do is to cut the supply of oxygen. It's one of those elements in the fire tri triangle. So guys, this is the portable firefighting extinguisher I'm talking about. This is located in all areas in the accommodation, one on the starboard and one on the port side. You know, it is used to fight small fire. Um, is a, if the fire is at knee level, um, you can fight it with this. If the fire grows as tall as you are, then you need to run. At that point, we need to deploy either the automatic firefighting system or we're sending attack party depending on where the fire is coming from. So this is foam fire extinguisher and it is used to fight um, class B fire, that is um, chemical fires or gaseous fires, you know. So um, from time to time, this is used, this, uh, this is checked for maintenance. Uh, someone has been designated to check that it is functioning as expected so it doesn't fail you in the event of an emergency yeah so this is this about the fixed firefighting system that is a portable firefighting extinguisher and it's very easy to use you know it has this acronym pass p a s s that is um pull you pull out the pin you aim in the fire you squeeze this and you sweep um from left to right to um from the base so you can extinguish the fire and this is everywhere you must have seen it before it is in your car in your kitchens in some offices and in our houses everywhere so um this is that's just it about it so let's go talk about the other things so guys that was the portable fire fighting extinguisher it's something that is very popular something we have seen before we also have it on board now you see once anyone comes on board you must familiarize yourself with the general alarm system and the fire alarm is one of those systems here now because we have um fire detecting system all over the ship we're able to know exactly where the fire is coming from um the officer of the watch sounds the alarm followed with a PA announcement that indicates or he informs us where exactly the fire is coming from so we go straight to that fire location the first we pick up our life jacket and immersion suit the very two essential thing that we must pick before we go to our fire station just in case the fire escalates and we need to abandon the ship so you pick those two items you go to your primary monster station the attack party attacks the fire if it is on deck it's the dead guys if it is in the engine room then the engine room attacks uh, in the room that guys attack the fire so that is that for uh, the fire control station fire equipment and fighting fire on board the ship yeah so if you like this video uh, please subscribe please share uh, leave your comments uh, feedback recommendation anything tell me whatever you need uh, whatever i would need to improve my my video quality or generally speaking yeah, i would really love for you to tell me um by dropping your feedback yeah so um thank you so much for watching until next time my name is god's great and i'm signing out from the sealer's lounge peace <laughs>